So now in this video we're going to look at uh, series LEDs. What we talk about here applies to other diodes as well. They have a forward voltage. When they're forward biased, the direction where they conduct uh, relatively easily, there's a voltage it takes to get the diode to conduct. So for red LEDs that's about 2 volts. If you put two of them in series, their voltages are going to add up. The two of them it's going to take about 4 volts to start conducting. So that's not an exact number, that's an approximation, but it's going to be about 4 volts. And if there's three of them in series, it's going to take approximately 6 volts before they start conducting. And the rest of the voltage will go across your current limiting resistor. So otherwise current will flow through freely, they'll burn out. And so the voltage that's across, if it's a 1 kilo ohm resistor, 1000 ohms, then for each volt across the resistor, you'll have 1 milliamp of current flowing through the LEDs. Now, if you have blue or green LEDs, they take about 3 volts to start conducting. They're brighter though at lower currents, but in any case, their voltages will stack up as well. So if you have 3 of them, it's going to be somewhere about around 9 volts before current starts flowing through them. And of course, you still need a current limiting resistor, and you pick that value by how much current you want to go through for whatever voltage is left over going across the resistor. We're going to keep the math simple again and only use the one kilo ohm resistor so that it's one milliamp per volt. So here we already have the LED with a protective resistor. It's a one kilo ohm resistor so it's probably closer to uh, three milliamps than uh, two milliamps right there which is the same as a uh, 0 0.002 or 3 right there. But I'm going to move the resistor up one spot right there, grab another red LED, and current's going to go way down. They still light up a bit though, and uh, their brightness has a lot to do with uh, how close, how they are aimed at the camera, and uh, also if they had been damaged at any time. But in uh, any case, they have the same amount of current going through them. You can see that we're not seeing anything. So I have current limited 20 milliamps so that we don't accidentally damage anything. So I go up two more volts and there you can see now we're back to that, uh, it says two on there, but it's probably actually three milliamps of current. So now I'm gonna move the resistor up one more spot. And again, it will say uh, zero, maybe one, but uh, it'll say zero. So there in series, current has to go through the resistor, the LED, the LED, and then the LED and go to ground right there and there you can see at 7 volts it's wavering at that one but if I increase it to 9 now we're back to about uh, 2 or 3 milliamps right there and uh, so I can keep raising it as much as I want until we get the current we want so we can go up to 15 volts now that there's three of them in series because they're dropping about six and so there's about nine across the resistor and there you can see it's about nine milliamps right there pretty straightforward Let's lower this voltage back down. It's kind of a high voltage if we don't have a circuit that is ready to handle that kind of voltage. And now I have a green LED. You can see it's really bright and we have uh, probably two milliamps of current just below two so that it says one right there. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna shuffle the resistor when we put another one in series right there. Now you can see we have uh, no current on the display, which is no surprise, it was pretty low. But we're probably going to have to go up uh, 3 volts to get about the same reading. So let's do that uh, one more time. Move the uh, resistor up one row, and then throw in another green LED right there. And there you can see the current, again, drop to nothing until we go up about 3 volts. And so they're blocking about 9 volts. There's really only about 2 across the resistor. And so we can go up uh, quite a bit more. But uh, we'll stop uh, right about there. So there's about 8 volts across the resistor. So there's going to be about 8 milliamps of current. So we're still where the resistor is not going to get too hot. But there you can see we can light uh, 3 LEDs that way. So series LEDs are really nice because they share the same current. You don't have to worry about... If you put them in parallel, which we'll look at in another video, maybe all the current will go through one of them. That's a possibility. Uh, but when they're in series, the same amount of current has to go through all of them. The downside, though, is if you have a lot of LEDs in series, you need a whole lot of voltage. And uh, 
So that's just something to consider, but that's the basic property of series LEDs. So hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, and all that. Donate Patreon if you can. I put a link down in the description. That would help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.